Hola, this is Alicia Monet, and I have some things to say. It's been a while since I have done a video, and um, a lot has transpired <laughs> in life. I'm very thankful. I'm very excited. Um, and my message today, I just want to let you all know that we really do have the power to create our lives the way that we desire. No matter where you are, no matter where you're starting from, you do have the power to do that, okay? I'm living proof. And um, it takes a lot of work, yeah. though. And to me, that was always a negative because when I think of work, I think of, like, working with your hands for some odd reason. And I don't like to work with my hands. Like, I don't like to do, like, hard labor. For some reason, I just think of work. I think of, like, out in the field working. Maybe it's uh, post-traumatic slave syndrome from ancestors passed down to me. I don't know. But I always think of that. But no, the work is training your subconscious. The work is repeating mantras over and over. The work is looking yourself in the mirror and telling yourself whatever it is that you need to hear, your positive affirmations. The work is meditating. The work is um, having a spiritual connection, you know, with the most high, with yourself. The work is eating correctly. The work is drinking the proper amount of water. The work is loving yourself getting the proper amount of rest and listening to your body, becoming in tune. This is the type of work I'm speaking of. And so I can say with 100% certainty what has worked for me. For one, if you listen to Divine Inspiration on Sunday nights from 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Blog Talk Radio, on Marriage Change Radio, if you've been listening to that show, for the past year, I have been posting um, soul work for the week. That soul work works. Work the soul work. The soul work works. And if I will provide a link to the archives of those shows because that has helped me tremendously. You can hear um, the growth in my voice and in my content uh, from the beginning of the show to now. Okay? So the soul work works. Um, and the soul work, I always have an affirmation. If you follow me on Facebook or you're my Facebook friend, then you see the centering thoughts of the day. Those centering thoughts of the day, they help. They are the centering thoughts of the day, for crying out loud. Whatever you focus your attention on, that is what is going to eventually transpire. Now, something else that I've learned for me, that works for me, perhaps it'll work for you, is that... Like, saying the centering thoughts of the day, your affirmations and all that, it's all good. You need to believe that it's going to happen eventually. You need to be patient with yourself. Being patient with myself is a big one because I had to know that it takes time. This stuff is not just going to um, manifest right before my eyes, though I'm getting to that point <laughs> where I can make something out of nothing right here, right now. Poof. Whoa. That just happened. See what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Um, But... Believing it, having faith in it, being patient with yourself, not trying to rush the process, um, which I'm still working on from time to time. And um, not resisting. When you're in a state of resisting, and what does resisting look like? That can look like um, trying to control everything. Or, you know, wanting to know everything because you have to have some sort of control and need to be in the know of what's going on. Like, sometimes that is not the case. You're not supposed to know everything all the time. Sometimes you really have to walk by faith. That's so much fun now. Like, it's really fun. And trust that everything's going to work out. You don't know how it's going to work out. You don't know when it's going to work out. But you know it's going to work out. Number two, number three, number four, I don't even know what we're on anymore. But stepping out of that poverty consciousness. So... Given that I was raised in the Christian church and grew up with those um, those teachings, um, I associate having money with being uh, evil or like like if I gained money, I was gonna inherently become wicked and somehow not make it into the kingdom of heaven. Well, that is bogus. That's not the truth. It's so far from the truth. Like, don't even think about it. Um, Coming out of that poverty mindset, 
and thinking that, you know, it's wrong to have money. And then coming out of the money, you know, wanting to have money or needing to have money because money is not the end all be all. Yeah, true. It takes money to purchase things. But really what you need is that currency, that energy flow, that the resources, because what I've learned and what spirit has been working with me on is that you don't have to have the physical money in order to make things happen. You can have the resources. Let's say I want money. What do you want the money for? I need to build a website. I need this website to be professional. Well, you might meet somebody who builds websites as a hobby. And it's like, you know what? I believe in your idea. I believe in what you're doing. I want to build this website for you. There goes the $500 you were asking for to build the website. Bam. You know what I'm saying? Or a logo or whatever the case may be. So count that as your resources. You can count it as money. You know what I mean? Whatever. But, you know, getting to the mind frame that you don't need money because you already have everything you need. You are abundance. You are flowing. And once you get into that flow, oh, my gosh, everything just starts flowing and flowing and flowing. Also, write. Write down what you desire. You got to write it down. Make it plain. And the people who see it will run with it. Right? It says in Habakkuk, in the Bible, for all of you who read the Bible. Write it down. Make it plain. And once you do that, visualize it. Oh, my gosh. Can you see it? Ha, ha, ha. Feel it. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. When you're in that state of feeling good, which is why I really love meditation, especially if you have a stressful life. We all have stressors every day and we can allow them to get to us. And, um, and you know, I say that and I'm not like above reproach. Like I have times where things trigger the fuck out of me and I'm just like, you know, I'm not going to go off. I will have an attitude. I will, you know, probably have a tone or something, but I'm not going to go off because I also realize that my words are still spells. I'm still speaking. I'm still um, creating with my words. So I'm careful about those as well. Okay. So anyways, um, when you're feeling good, all those stressors, right, they stress you out. So that your body reacts to stress. Even if your mind tries to talk you out of it and tries to talk your emotions down, your body still feels it. So like, for example, today, I have to go to court. I was in the line for court. Like, I know I took care of all this stuff. And I know that the court closes at 4.30. I know the DMV closes at a certain time. I know I got to get certain places and make stuff happen. And I knew it was going to be all right. I go to court, and there's nothing but meter parking. I go to the first meter. There, they only take change. It's not the new, the new school meters that take cards. I don't have any change. I don't even have my purse on me. So I don't have money. I just have my card. So I'm like, okay. So then some person leaves, I go to that meter, there's there's no money on it. So then a person behind them or a couple cars back leaves, I go to that one, bam, there's 46 minutes. Perfect. Nobody's at court today. It's Friday. Um, Worked out. I go in there, there's a short little line. I'm trying to get on, on the phone with my insurance company to prove that I've had insurance. I've never had a lapse in insurance. The insurance bill is paid. Like, it's all good, right? And I'm on the phone with them. My phone's about to die. Like, all this stuff is going on, but I know it's going to work out. And I'm telling spirit, like, I know it's going to work out, but I can't control my body. I'm shaking my leg. My leg is just shaking. I'm, like, tapping. I'm, like, mm. I'm, like, okay, I'm rocking. I'm doing all this, and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the anxiety, even though I know it's already worked out. I'm, like, it's already worked out. Like, I don't know why I'm doing this. And spirit's, like, notice how your body's act acting and responding to this because you're working yourself up even though you're unaware of it you're working yourself up you have the power right now to control your body and i'm like well i know it's gonna work out but my body's still doing it. it's like no because your mind was already drifting somewhere you were already feeling it you know you're saying it that's great but you need to be equanimous i think that's the word equanimous i learned that from tiffany Janet, and she learned that from vipassana where you Instead of reacting or responding to something, you're just observing it. You're just a, 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 a observer of what's happening. You neither feel any good or bad about it. You're just observing it. So I'm like, okay, let me get into that, that, that state of being. So I'm like really trying. I'm like, okay, let me just observe, observe. Yeah. 
and I took three three breaths, and that was cool. I felt better. But the point, me bringing that up, is that even though I knew it was going to work out, everything was going to be great, my body was still moving. The lady had to take my, my claim to the back because she's like, I don't understand what this is. I'm like, me either. So she took it to the back and I'm doing all this, you know, in my head and like breathing and like all this stuff right there at the counter. She comes back, she goes, oh, oh, that's just erased from your, your, um, your case. This is done with, like, you don't need, this is not an issue. I was like, sweet, not an issue. So it all worked out. It always works out. It's always going to work out. Thing is, while you're going through it, you have the um, opportunity during that time to either build Bad karma, by the way you deal with it, and cause stress and disease in your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul. Or you can just ride the wave and chill. Just know, like, don't allow yourself to react. Just, like, be chill and be thankful because it's already worked out. See what I'm saying? So knowing that it's already worked out, you don't resist the rope the seemingly rope the seeming uh roadblock seemingly the roadblocks the things that seem to be roadblocks you don't sweat that because you know that it's gonna work out so you don't sweat the small stuff um that's exciting and yeah when you're not sweating that you're not stressing when you're not in a state of stress abundance is flowing through you to you you're recycling the energy so your things are flowing to you Things are always going to, like, for example, with me, I always have cash. I always have cash no matter what. People are always coming to me for something where there's an exchange and I have cash flow. So that's great. I don't have to use my card, which is attached to my account, which is what I'm used to. But guess what? I have been creating things that I'm not used to experiencing, whole new experiences for myself where there is no time I have to worry about, where there is nobody I have to check in with besides myself. And so this has been my creation, what I've been creating. And it's all manifesting very rapidly. And so, and things are coming up for me to heal as well. That's another thing. As you're doing all of this and you're creating this new life for yourself and the life you desire and all things are all blissed out, all of those blockages, all that stuff you've been holding in from like since birth, it has to come up and out. When it comes up, don't panic. If you get teary-eyed, so be it. I was just on a call tonight with Marioni Rocks, and I didn't expect to be crying. You know, I was just sharing, like, oh, I released this. You know, this was an issue for me, and I released it in meditation. Well, I released it in meditation, and right after I said that, I thought, damn, I never cried about that. And as soon as I said that, that the sister was shared, and here comes the waterworks. And it was beautiful, and I was, like, really crying, and I tried to stop. I'm like, okay, enough. <laughs> and it just wasn't enough. Don't stop yourself. When you cry, let it all out. Don't feel bad about it. It's beautiful. Those are cleansing tears, and it's wonderful. You don't have to cry about it every day. Get it all out one nice time, however you do it. Get it out. Let the tears flow, and then create what you want. Give thanks. Yes, that's out. Now I can just receive all this abundance. Yes. And so... um. That's about it. Be thankful. Stay in a state of gratitude. Good, bad, indifferent. It doesn't matter what comes your way. It's all for your benefit anyways. It's all going to work out. You've already been thinking about it. You've already been planting those seeds. It's all coming to you. If you found this video, I'm so excited for you because that means that you are ready to take your life to the next level. Level up. Yay. You're like on manifesting um level up <laughs> level up time guys so this is alicia one i'm going to sign out because this video is running a little long and i missed you guys and before i um stopped making videos or took a pause or whatever you want to call it um i made a uh um i challenged myself to make my videos under 10 minutes under five minutes if i'm doing really good and this is like 14 but i'm going to reduce that i'm going to edit that but i love you guys and you know what Dream big. This new moon energy in Aries, dream big. Don't be afraid. And if you are afraid, it's okay. Be honest with yourself about it. And rewrite your story. Rewrite yourself as the brave, courageous warrior who conquered all. 
That's my story. I'm the brave, courageous warrior that conquered all fear. I looked fear dead in the face and I said, you know what, fear? I appreciate you. I really do. And I'm over you. I'm over you. Thank you. Thank you for raising up those flags. I needed that so I can reassess what's going on. But I'm over you and we can be we can be friends. And this is how it works. You let me know something is up. I investigate the situation and find out, oh, that's nothing at all. That's how that works. Thank you. I love you guys. This is Alicia Monet, Divine Inspiration, Goddess Bliss. If you want to hear my show, you can hear my show on uh, Blog Talk Radio on Sunday evenings at 7 p.m. on Married to Change Radio. It's called Divine Inspiration. The number to call in is 516-590-0975. Shout out to all my goddesses all over all the sisterhoods. I'm out about to shout out each individual sisterhood because I might forget one and then I don't want to go through that. Just know I love you, sisters. I see you guys working. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of everything because guess what? This is just the beginning. We just linked. What? We are some powerful goddesses and we just linked. Worlds, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Well, ready or not, here we come. Peace.